What's up, nerdlings? What's up, nerdlings? Do you nerd for Floydomania, which means video games monthly. Wait a minute. You put the lime in the coconut? What about the peel? Oh, hey guys. My name is Jacob Show, and you guys are watching Do You Nerd? We've got another box from Video Games Monthly. Sound, sounds a little assembly required in there. <laughs> Please, to move me from the suitcase. Just a little bit. <laughs> so, Video Games Monthly, let's run through it. You pick out consoles that you want to collect the games for. You give them a list of all the games that you already have to avoid duplicates. You pick a tier, and then they send those games to you each month and you return them, correct? No! You get to keep them. Yeah. I'm taking this. You always want to make sure you get that list updated, though, after every box, so you don't get duplicates. Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> somebody sat on it. I guess let's let's do this the the old back and forth. Guessing what's what's in here. Oh my! That does not sound that good. That doesn't at all. sound good. I'll, I'll let you start with that. All right. What have you got for me? Cards. Cards. Okay. So. There's that reminder to update that list and to post a picture on social media. You could win some games. What up? And we got a one-up. That's always nice. We subscribe to the three game box, so we should have four retro gaming goodies in here. We got a bottle opener. You know, we have got these before, but- They've been different colors. Different colors, and honestly, I like having a couple of these. Uh, it's good to have a few because you can keep one on the bar, you can keep one by your favorite chair, your gaming chair. Take one on the go with you, you know, so that way when you're at a convention or something. What are you guys doing? <laughs> Stock in the fridge with the important stuff. Which would be? <laughs> Beer. <laughs> okay, so what I am going to do is I'm going to tell her the name of the game. She's going to try to tell me something, anything that's on the label. And we have for Super Famicom, Super Bomberman 2. There's a little dude with a bomb for a head. You know, this one, this one's working against you. He's um, not on the cover? He's not. Okay, um, yellow writing. No, it's more of an orange writing. Tell Is there a bomb on the cover? Barely. <laughs> Is there a word Bomberman on the cover? Yes, there you Yay! go. Yay! You're dealing with more of a Scooby-Doo Oh, kind of cover here. Halloween eyes. Nice thing is the Bomberman games, we've gotten a couple of the uh, Japanese ones on N64 and Super Famicom before, so no worries there. They're Bomberman, easy enough to play without knowing the language. So what do you do? I tell you what's on the cover, sort of, and make you try to guess the name of the game. Okay. We've got some animals on a ship. Animals on a ship? Mm-hmm. Uh, Noah's Ark? And they really enjoy their potassium. It is no, a Super no. Famicom game. It's a little guy and a little girl, but they're animals. Is it's this... a junior version of somebody. A little guy and a little girl in their animal. A little male animal and a little girl animal. They're both wearing hats. The only, the only junior I could think of was James Bond Jr. James, James Bond had a junior? Yeah, well, it was for, oddly enough, it was named after his uncle James, so I don't know how that makes him a junior, except for when you start thinking about the fact that it was James Vaughn, and he probably hit that. But anyway, back to this. <laughs> I'm officially off the rails. You should try it. 
Okay, I, I give up. I don't know. Little boy and girl animals on a ship who enjoy their potassium. <laughs> potassium! Bananas! Banana, banana, banana! It's a little boy and a little girl who enjoy their potassium and they're on a ship. Super Donkey Kong no Dai Dan, Yu Yu Tojo, Stayo Harukani Wamar, Tasaina Stage, Masmas Hiroga Donkey Kong World, Super Donkey Kong 2. There's a big one and a little one. I like them big. That's what she said. That's a good one. You're on fire. All right. Well, the name is Crash and Spyro Super Pack. I would be very surprised if they were able to get the Spyro the Dragon on that cover. He'd be very, very tiny. Are Spyro and Crash Bandicoot on the cover? No. Uh, I didn't think so. <laughs> um, there's nothing but the writing of that on there. Boom! <laughs> Nicely done. Yay, I got one right! <laughs> Sci five. Sci five. All right, you ready for this? Yes, ma'am. It is a Japanese 64. Okay. Oh my. There is a bespectacled Hitler. And a little girl winking with sticking her tongue out. And there's a flying duck and a spaceship in the background. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay, easy. Uh, Hitler's daughter and the chicken slime raiders. You got it! Space. You got it! This is a classic, really. <laughs> Um, you know, because as, as means of redeeming himself, he lost his hair. Okay. So a uh, Bandai game, I think it says Tamagotchi in there, but honestly, I still never would have guessed it because I don't know anything about Tamagotchi other than they're digital. <laughs> you feed them, they poop and everyone usually lets them die within a week or two because they get bored of them. <laughs> That's so terrible. <laughs> well, these are some very interesting <laughs> games. The Crash and Spyro game, I'm actually very curious about that. Um, I, I look forward to playing that one. Bomberman is always a good time. Bomberman's Bomberman. And as always, having a game that you might be a little more familiar with, the English version, playing through the Japanese version is always fun. This, I don't know what to think about this. It's kind of like when they sent us the Tamagotchi game on Game Boy. Yeah. And I started to wonder, how does that work? But even more, the Game Boy at least made a little sense. How does that work on 64? Like, is it just a like a Tamagotchi? Do you think there's a battery in the cartridge that would hold, that would keep your place? Ah, uh, maybe. And if that's the case, it might be interesting to see what kind of creature is already on there. Mm-hmm. Okay. Nerdlings, please let me know something about this Tamagotchi game. Uh, <laughs> let me know what you think of Donkey Kong Country 2. Hey, out of the Super Nintendo trilogy, which one was the best Donkey Kong Country in your opinion? Also, if you know anything about Crash and Spyro, or if you've played Super Bomberman 2 on Super Nintendo or Super Famicom. Everybody see what I <laughs> anyway, give the video a like, leave those comments down below, hit the notification bell, subscribe, you know what to do, if you care to. Don't forget to like us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, go over to TeePublic, because we have merchandise over there. Hit us up on the Retro Refresh, and if we like it... We nerd it, even if we have no idea what it's all about. Go figure. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye-bye! Your tummy? Mm -hmm. Hungry? Mm -hmm. uh -huh.
Too much too.